2020 Boom Vader BD125-15. It is a Gen 1, so it actually is a clone of the OG Grom that I've learned. Done a few things. I'm quite into orange. Orange Pro Taper grips, bar end mirrors, orange brake lever, new master cylinder, orange clutch lever. The bar end mirrors, in my mind, are a lot better than the stock mirrors. This bike is brand new, 2020 BD125-15 as well. I am selling it. I kind of market them, buy them and sell them. Uh, I got new marker lights, marker slash turn signal lights. So the fronts are white markers when not signaling. And then there's sequential LEDs when signaling. Matching rears. My rears are just set up as brake and turn signals. We have an aftermarket exhaust, orange anodized aluminum foot pegs. If you look close down here, Part of my aftermarket exhaust, you will see an O2 sensor. And this cable here currently is still plugged in to my ECU, electronic control unit or EFI unit. And I have put an aftermarket EFI system on here head temperature sensor which will soon be changed to a visible temperature sensor up on my handlebars come around the front here see I do have a cone filter orange fuel lines there's the throttle body injection so to display that it is currently 30 degrees here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I haven't ridden this today, so this is a true cold start. Let's see how it goes. Well, there it is. Cold start at 30 degree weather. I ride mine around with the Purcell sign it off turns it back on the fuel pump will prime and it starts when it's off and you walk away with the key fob arms itself and then you can't start it until you approach it and you're close enough with the key fob. <whistles> Disarms it. And then your push button ignition is activated again. Keep this on here, obviously, to open the under the seat, my registration and whatnot in it. I do have a battery tender on it. No big deal. But here in Utah, we don't get to ride much in the winter months, so like to keep the battery tended and charging when I'm not riding it. So that's a quick rundown. I am currently tuning the EFI. So it's not perfect, but it does run really good right now. 
I would say absolutely better than the stock carburetor and it's still a work in progress let me know what you guys think any comments questions um, or suggestions thanks